this on this call you know you are here because you've been part of this big wave of change that is felt across many countries across the globe so that is one part but of course the other part of today it's handing over the leadership baton Ingun, the founder of Female Wave of Change, is handing over that baton to Tebello Mohema, who is also here in South Africa. Somebody that is very well known uh, in Female Wave of Change across the globe. Um, somebody who's done everything in Female Wave of Change. And somebody who was brave enough to say, let's host the first Female Wave of Change conference here in South Africa. And we did it. <laughs> and those who were here um, can attest to how amazing and powerful and impactful it was. So as we talk about, you know, this baton, really great leaders pass the torch. That's what happens when there's great leadership. They don't hold on to things. They, they pass on the torch. In other words, they hand off the role of leadership to future generations, you know, to other leaders. Um, what separates great leaders from ordinary leaders is actually the timing of when this process happens. I saw Ingun's video um, leading to this event on, on LinkedIn, and she was talking about how female wave of change is her baby, and now she's letting go of the baby, and, you know, I could relate, I could, I could somehow, I have empathy, you know, but I think um, on the other side of the coin is that, I think it's that um, peace to know that I'm handing over to somebody who's actually just making, who's going to make this thrive even more. Um, it's that 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 peace of mind to know that this is somebody who's worked the journey, somebody who understands the vision, and somebody who is capable of seeing it through, and then at some point also hand over to somebody. So while on there, the two ladies, Ingun and you know Debel, I was thinking, hmm, let me share my experiences with this lady, or at least what I think. <laughs> <laughs> at the very start of this. So, you know, Ingun, a visionary, fierce, passionate, and somebody who has great influence. I mean, there are how many countries represented here? Just on the chat, just type for, to me, type for me where you dialing in from. Let's see how many countries are. As we greeting each other and part of this intro, just type on the chat where you dialing from, you know, um, and, and that's, that's the, the influence that I'm talking about um, that Ingun has and has showed over the years as the founder and leader of this thing. I saw SA, I saw Netherlands, I saw Kenya, Switzerland, Netherlands, of course, Botswana, right, our, our neighbors here in South Africa, um, and many more countries, but welcome to everybody. So Debello, who is Debello according to me? Grounded, humble, steadfast, calm. Oh my goodness, if I could steal this character from her, I would do it, you know, while she's sleeping. Calm, committed, a sheer love for sharing. And, and, and whilst I'm describing these two kind of leaders, there's so much that they share in common. And that is why today um, they hear, oh, Pat from South Africa now in the Netherlands. Yes, of course, we are global trotters. Um, so many great things that they share in common. They both share the passion, passion for the development for women, to see women thrive, to see women's voices being amplified, being elevated, women standing, taking their power and claiming their space. They both share the belief that we're not in competition with our counterparts, being males or men. Oh no, we are not. They both believe that we strive to coexist with man. While we're trying to understand each other, there's a space for us to coexist. In fact, we want to coexist because that's when we will make the ripple of effects even bigger and more impactful, both driven by progress and impact. So this is why I'm introducing to you as we handing over the baton, I'm trying to bring some sense of calmness to those who may be nervous 
and I don't think there is, but also to just say, this is just an extension of leadership, of the vision, of the work that has been done. So as we, in the spirit of celebration, let us celebrate that part as well, but celebrate the many amazing things and work that has happened in this beautiful space of female wave of change. Right, so with those nice words, <laughs> of opening, um, I hear there's going to be so many storytelling in this court this evening. I'm excited about that. The, apparently, there's stories that we don't know that are going to come out today. Um, and we're going to hear about some of the stuff that happens in the background in Female Wave of Change. We're going to hear about some of the the challenges and the realities of running an organization like this, especially at a global level. Um, but we're also gonna hear some of the amazing stuff that we're still gonna hear. So we're going to do a bit of reflection of in the past, and then we're gonna look a bit into the future and get excited about the stuff that we're going to continue to build in the future. Can I get some energy of excitement and jubilation on this call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then later on, we're going to raise our glasses and salute, right? And salute and say, we're sending out positive energy to everybody. And we are agreeing with our glasses that <laughs> this is going to be um, the, to the next seven years and more. Um, of greatness and of more impact. Oh, Spabi, I see you. All right. Um, so with the agenda that I have, let's get into it. We're getting into a section of untold stories. As I said, these stories, um, I'm hoping that we haven't heard, but if we have, we haven't heard them in this way. So um, I know that Bonnie is not here, right? Um, so tips? And she recorded a video. I don't know if that ready that video is ready or if we're moving on to somebody else here. Oh, LCB is giving me a thumbs up. Fantastic. So maybe it's great to start with Mama Boni, um, who is unfortunately not here, but she's got a, a story of her own to tell. And we'll switch on to that right now. <laughs> Sorry, there was so much noise. Are you starting with Bonnie or are you starting with Mommy Bon? Bonnie's video. Okay. Thanks, I can see you all expectantly waiting for me. Uh -huh. So here. <laughs> can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Thank you. Let's see if we can hear. There's no way I'm not going to be present today in some way, shape, and form to be able to celebrate you. Uh, congratulations on all you've accomplished. You and I met in, actually in the United States, in, in uh, Los Angeles, over 20 years ago. And somehow, even though we didn't keep contact, when you began uh, give me a wave of change, you sent me a, a mail, a, a message on Facebook. And I'll never forget how excited I was because what you said was, Bonnie, I'm creating something for women that I think we, we should talk about. And I had just created, well, the year before, six months before, inspired when you lead. Oh, yes, this is wonderful. And we've been hand in hand ever since. Separate organizations, but with a real partnership. And I think that says a lot to your leadership. The fact that, one, you just launched into what you wanted to do. You launched in by creating, by acting on female wave of change and creating with Renee shortly thereafter, women leading in change. And our two organizations became partners and you and I were already partners, I think it's fair to say, because we, we just are aligned in our thinking. And I just admire so much, one, your vision, 
Two, your action to make that vision happen. Three, the way you're able to bring women from around the world together. And four, the friend, colleague, soul sister that you are to me. And for all of that, I thank you. I celebrate you. And I hope you will turn around often to see what you have accomplished. Even though you're stepping down, you're stepping out, with somebody tremendous like Cabello taking over. Everything that continues will continue with a piece of you in it. So congratulations and lots and lots of love. What a beautiful, touching, heartfelt message. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm just going to get all the people sharing and then I'll do my, my bloop, bloop, bloop at the end. So I'm going to line them up as I have them on my on my agenda. Um, um, I don't know who should come first or Stavella, should I look at what I have on my agenda? I know some are not making it today, so I've done some scratched out. Um, but I actually saw Dr. Selena here, so I'm not sure if she's still talking. Um, but she was yeah on the line. So Jane, you next, right? Jane, you up next. Then Tina, you up next. Then Renee, you up next. And then because um, now we're doing the blast from the past, right? So then we have Sophia. I'm um, sorry, Dr. Selena, and then we have Sophia last. So in that order. Jane, the stage is yours. Hey. Okay, I'm right here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, this is a beautiful evening. I'm so happy I made it. I was just rushing, rushing from town, I'm making sure that I don't miss this. You know, I won't, I just miss this <laughs> for the world. So, my name is Jane Anyango. I'm from Kenya. Uh, and I'm so excited. I'm just so happy and proud of England. For, for, you know, just for passing the button, you know, after all these years. I met um, Ingon in the U.S. in the year 2011 uh, in a conference. And, you know, we just became special friends. And uh, when Female Wave of Change was being launched, I was actually invited to the Netherlands. And I was happy to spend my beautiful time with uh, England's beautiful family. Oh, God. That is really, you know, something that I can never forget. And then England was able to come to Kenya for the official launch in Kenya. And Tebelo made it to Kenya. And in fact, that is the time where I just looked at her and said, hey, 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 this level of determination is at a different level. So, England, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy that you are passing the pattern to a very responsible uh, feminist. You know, Tebelo, I follow you a lot and I know you're able and I know you're capable of doing it. If if I was proposed uh, to, to receive this button, I would, I would still hand it over to you because I know you can do it far much better than, better than myself. You know, I know... Um, we have walked this path. I know there's so much that have happened, and uh, you know, and you've been part of every process. I've not been able to attend the, the two conferences. You've been there and you've reached out directly. And I, I I know female wave of change is going to be in good hands, in very, very good hands. Ingun, I admire you a lot. I I learned so much from you. I take so much from your energy. I know I, I, I've not been talking much, but if you check well, I follow you almost every day and I listen to your videos. So personally, I'm inspired. And uh, interestingly, in Kenya, we're having a lot of conversations around passing the baton as well. I'm also letting go of this organization I've, I've you know, established here, you know, 
many years back in the year 2003, I'm letting young people lead it. So I think it's just that time when, when people are, are learning that you don't have to be retired. You can still hand over. And it doesn't mean that when you pass the button, then you're off the conversation completely. You can still be a consultant. When you pass the button, you're still part of the race. You're still cheering. You're still interested in how the race is proceeding, progressing and how it's going to end. So we are still part of these conversations. And I'm so proud of each one of you. And I'm so proud. I look at how much a female level change has grown. And I'm proud. You know, it's that pride that you feel within yourself that you don't even have to share with someone. You sit in your room and you say, yay, this is beautiful. I'm happy to be part of this. Otherwise, thank you so much and welcome everyone. Um, I'm just happy, very, very happy. And, uh, you know, tell me a lot. Congratulations. England, congratulations. We are all together in this. Thank you. Beautiful. Thanks, Jane. So Tina will be Tina? on video title and Elsa B will uh, get the video play. All right, thank you. We can hear it. There's no volume elsewhere. He said. Shall we? Shall we move on to somebody else? I know meantime? Tina was going to try and be here. If she's here, maybe she could speak in person, but I don't see her. We'll try Tina's video um, a bit yeah. later. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, let's move to you, Renee. Okay, thank you. It's great to be here and see all the familiar faces. So I'm happy to uh, to join this uh, celebration. Um, April 2018, I became board member of Female Wave of Change, and I was there for four and a half years. And we were connected through Bonnie, by the way, which is very interesting. And uh, Ingrid and I had a few talks and. Uh, first by phone, and then we had uh, another lunch and another coffee. And, you know, while I normally, some of you know me, would just not jump in things. I would want to know more, and how is this, and what is the vision, and why, and how do we organize it, because I'm an organized person. I somehow thought, well, let me just join, and let me see it. I had a, I had a, had a good heart for women and helping women, so that, that was not the issue. And that was a bit how it how it went off in these days. You know, England had a great vision. She had tremendous energy, a sense of urgency, and the ability already when we met to pull together a lot of women. So that was that. I joined. So then we worked, and that's a bit the background stories. We worked on legal frameworks, partnerships agreement, how to form the organization. Uh, more great women to join, the G-Drive, the inner circle, Elsabi and Marta with, with just so dedicated members already then. Uh, we worked on a business model and of course that was more of England's input, but it was sort of like a startup, you know, we had to do a lot together and um, and fortunately more women joined the board as we as we went along. And the most beautiful thing I always felt, and Ingrid and I have talked a lot about that, is that our, our mindset, our skill set, our personality were quite complementary. So, you know, Ingrid is about the many ideas and everything needs to happen as soon as possible. And I would be the one to say, OK, let's see how we can make this work. So I think it was a great, a great way to, to make it work together. Still have fond memories. Two things really, two projects, I would say, really stand out for me. Of course, women leading in change. 
And it, it was like you said in one of your videos, Ingun, we just sat there in the garden and we said, okay, there's a need for women to step in the leadership. What can we do? What can we do to make that work? And we just charted out on an A4 with, okay, these are the topics that we need to get to. And, and oh, these are in our circle. We have already the teachers that we can uh, approach. So we just did that and we got great feedback. So, we, you know, we developed it still a little bit. And the rest is, of course, history. And there are many people in this call even that have been in the program uh, that have led the program, like Tato, that have taught in the pro program, has been teachers. And uh, we never talk about, oh, so many pro programs, so many women, because it's really, as we always say, it's about the women who have impact on themselves, on themselves, on their community, on their organizations. And yes, impact we did have, and we still have. That's a beautiful thing. It's still happening with Women Leading in Change. The second project that I wanted to mention as a, as a fond memory and also, you know, signifying Ingun is, of course, the conference in South Africa. You mentioned it already. Highlight, of course, in those days. Uh, specifically uh, to me, traveling to South Africa for the first time, Ingun and I were traveling together and actually also our partners was with us. Peter was in there. My husband, Arthur, was in there. And I think... The, the opportunity that gave us, you know, the four or five days after the conference to travel together, to get to know each other even a little bit better. And actually, I have the scarf that you and I bought. You bought a similar one, but I thought, OK, I wear the scarf that we bought there. And and it just shows that also our partners are so important for the work that that you have been doing, um, Ingo. So, yeah, it was just a fun time with Peter, Arthur and you and me. And of course, the team in South Africa, which did a fantastic job to have the amazing conference done. So again, you know, sweet memories, sweet memories. So in closing, I would say, Ingun, I love working with you. Um, your energy, your ideas, your passion, it's contagious. You know that. That's why you also can get all these people together. You've built a fantastic organization. And it's been said before I really, really commend you to have found this beautiful and powerful successor in Tabello, because that is the most difficult thing to do, to let go, to let go of it and just, you know, you know, take the courage to say, okay, this is this is good. This is my time. There needs to be different energy, different personality, maybe. There needs to be, you know, fresh, a fresh face. And it's not so fresh face because we know you already so well, Tabello. So I I toast you both. I thank you both for what you've done until now and for what you will continue to do. Thank you, ladies. Cheers. Thank you, Renee. And, and then we're going to you, Sophia. Are you here? And then Elsa B, just ping me when you're ready with that video from Tina. I'm ready to go if Sophia, when Sophia is done. Is she here? Sure, let's do it. I haven't seen her. Okay, let me do Tina then. And then Sophia can maybe speak after. Beautiful. Thank you, Elsa Let's do it. What an enormous honor it is to congratulate both Ingen and Tabella on this historic day. Who could have known six years ago when Ingen called me to launch Female Wave of Change in the USA, that we'd be here today. I had said to her at the time, as and when you consider South Africa, I'm going to introduce you to Tabello. Ingen, I salute you. Your vision, your determination, and your consistency 
have enabled you to build this global organization. To Bello, I'm excited at all that lies ahead. And I know that you are the leader to take the organization to where it has the possibility to grow. Short and sweet, beautiful. Um, is Sophia here? All right. So, so, so according to so Ustabello, please give me. I know there were a lot of names that some of them were scratched from blast from the past. I think that's everybody. Um, um let's go to Mummy Bond. Is it Let's from go the to Mummy Bond. I thought she yeah. was chatting the future. Okay. Mama okay. Bond. Let's head to you. Wow, wow, wow. And Ingen, where do we begin with these great authentic leaders? I will always remember the 24th of March, 2018. I met Ingen on screen. I don't know how Tibelo <laughs> sourced me <laughs> as a keynote speaker to launch <laughs> the SA chapter, but there the journey begins. I can just say, you know Tibelo with her calmness and her intention, when she wants to do something, she will. I'm not amazed. Last year, she wrote, Starting over, and there she is starting over lead. To you, Ingen. Seven. Greatness. You've grown us. We are. Is Mama Yvonne having tech issues? Oh, it's just me. Great lead. Sorry? Is it fine? Yeah, let's try my it's we we having it's it's coming through intermittently. It's probably the internet. So can you hear me loudly now? Yeah, let's try. If it's still not working, then I'm gonna suggest then you probably log off and log okay. back in again. But let's try. Right. But I think it's because yeah, I think it because it's a load shedding on our side, but with or without load shedding, my story about completeness stays alive. That Indian, it is complete. They are the touch of your authentic leaders. And for me, what is it that I will always, always cherish and remember about you? Inspiration and in innovation. Thank God that you met Bonnie as your mentor, uh, the Renees as your best friends. But innovation, you inspired us to do new things. Even meditating, so you know, we join all these organizations, but come on, praying and meditating is not on the agenda, but that's how we as South Africans felt the strength during the tough times of COVID-19 when we're in isolation. But you know what? I know you for goodness. What a genuine mover and shaker and a change maker. Thank you, Mama Yvonne, for that tribute. Um, I'm going to call on Patty um, while we're still on the topic of um, thinking about the past. And we all so, oh, Mama Yvonne is still on. So for many of you, you know that in South Africa, we struggle with electricity and uh, Sometimes when we are having these calls, you know, then the network um, yeah, 
falls on us. So I think that's, that's... so I have the but I was Okay, so what we'll do is we'll before the end of the call, we'll just come back to Mami Vaughn to conclude. Okay, thanks. We have lots of lots of so many people that want to share and we would I like know. to give the opportunity <laughs> to you. Okay, thanks, Tati. All right. Thanks. So we'll get Mami Vaughn uh, later back on. Um Patty, where are you? Are you ready? I'm here. Can you hear me okay? Yep, we can hear you. Thanks, Patty. Okay. I'm using my cell phone for the first time, so I'm, I'm trying to get used to this. But I am so glad to be here. And um, I just want to say thank you so much. I've been a member for about two years now. And I love this organization because we walk our talk. And I think that is so important. And so over the last two years, I have, you know, went through open heart surgery and everything. And this group, even though I've never met most of you <laughs> at all, but I've only seen you virtually, you have been there for me. You have been authentic. You have been caring. We have done everything that we put out to be. We've, you know, we've put to be authentic. We've been the leaders. Make sure that we have passion and treat people with humanity we all we all do this and it shows even though we can't see each other on a daily basis in in real you know be in person but even through just through the videos and everything like that i consider you all my true friends and it was so nice like i said when i went through open heart surgery two o'clock in the morning when i got depressed I could call somebody because of the time zone. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be waking up somebody. I could say, oh, okay, I can call it. You know, and I had that support there. And I had that link there that I felt connected. And I knew that I was cared for. So, and I, Ingram has done amazing things. She has been my amazing friend. And I love her to death, and I'm so appreciative of everything she has done. And um, Cabela, you know you have a room in my house. I have my guest bedroom waiting for you, and um, I know you're going to do amazing things. So thank you for this group. Thank you, Ingram, for starting this, and I know we're going to keep doing great things. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. And then we have good Dr. Celine for the last part as the last person um, on this blast from the past. You are on oh, mute, Celine. Oh. oh, so I have to start over again with my tears. <laughs> So sorry about that. <laughs> I said, I'm the crybaby of the team, but you know, so I'm going to try to do the best I can here. Um, I have to say that, you know, Ingen is the mother of, of the, of the, of the nation. She parents, she has this mothering parenting love power that brought all of this together. I bet to her, it's not that difficult that it just comes so, it feels like it just comes so natural to you, Ingen, that you can just bring all these network of people from across the globe, from different cultures, different languages, different, you know, different perspectives together to become one. As I talk about oneness, you are the oneness mother. You bring everything together um, and, and you give people a shot before they even know that they're ready at that shot. And I and I reflect upon the first conf uh, a conference we did and I became part of Tobello's team. And I was new, new, new. And I was like, oh my God, what do I do? I'm going to do what? And I was like, I'm, oh my God, Tobello's so good. How am I going to do this with Tobello? I, gotta, I, I was like, I'll learn, I'll just learn. And I just kind of like, rather than shying away and feeling inadequate and not knowing and feeling like, I just said, 
I was just accepted and it was, it worked and I contributed and then, okay, Selena, you're going to take, now you're going to become head of the, uh, the, the head of the health pillow. And I was like, okay, <laughs> how do I take off? Oh, you know, and it just kept on creating the me that I'm not using, used to being the me that kind of hides in the shadows. I'm quiet. I listen. I'm a listener. That's my training to listen and to to understand and interpret. Um, so to be out front, although I'm silly and I and you know, but uh, but Ingham, you give that ability to people to feel certainty, and I thank you for that certainty in me. Okay, tears are coming. <laughs> um, in Amsterdam, when I got to meet you face to face, person to person, arm to arm cheek to cheek. I always felt you standing right there next to me. <laughs> it was like, it's like you were my little guardian angel and you were there and you were, I felt so protected and safe by you. Um, and you don't know these things because I come off being like, I'm, I know I'm, I, I got this. No, I, I didn't know. And I didn't have this. Um, so I thank you. I thank you for and I always say parenting me, I'm older than you are. <laughs> But I thank you for making me feel that kind of, a, 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 you know, security, that kind of love, warmth and caring. And I know with my first my first challenge in, in trying to become involved in this eight organization with and Tabella was leading this whole conference that we first did, I, I did with everyone, that she was also had the ability to take me and make me feel like it's okay, you can do this. So I know I'm going from one arms of care and security to another. So I thank you to Bello and I appreciate that you have been chosen to be there. Um, and it could have been anyone because everyone in this organization is just marvelous and they all have gotten the spirit, the blessings of Ingun. And I don't know if that's how she picks everyone in accordance to how she perceives them, because we all have that love inside of us. And that's what makes this work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ingham. Love. And wow, we will wow, wow. meet in Geneva. <laughs> I hope. Wow, 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 wow. What a blast from the past. <laughs> um, beautiful stories that we heard, how people met with you, England. I was feeling sorry for you that I see your tears were just running down uncontrollably and you tried to be posed. <laughs> and I'm like, this is a safe space. Let them roll, lady. <laughs> Let the just tears my roll. Nature. Just um, my nature. Sorry, Celine, what was that? Oh, okay. I think it was a mistake. Um, and I think um, it's just a testament to, you know, when when I was reflecting at the very beginning of your kind of leader that you are and you, Ostebel, and the stuff that consistently came up is that you founded this massive, successful organization. And there's a visionary who does that. You had this vision and you you managed to pull people from all corners of the world. And here we are right you gave birth to this and um it grew legs and now it's running and it's it's because of your the vision that you had and i'm sure at some point it didn't make sense to peter or to other people close to you or you know and but she's like you know what you're gonna see it and now we all here like yes ingun we see it um those are the qualities of, of a visionary leader but some of the stuff that are coming out of this it's like you know i love when renee say we were connected by body when you met already and it just shows something that i always talk about that we are all interconnected um it doesn't matter where you are in the world it doesn't matter what you do we are all interconnected and powerfully how celine ended that at the end of it we all have this love in it and if we come here with our pure hearts yeah. you know, we need to be vulnerable with each other and trust each other all of us in female wave of change, there was a point where we were not sure what we were doing, but we were encouraged to say, just do it, you'll be fine. And you didn't feel like you're being judged or you're not good enough because it's just a beautiful space that 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 there's beautiful women around here 
and men that are supporting this thing have managed to create it's like you don't feel like you're not good enough even if you feel like that nobody will support you in that you know um doubt that you have for yourself so in Gun, really really um you know the tributes that have been coming in um the testaments that have been coming in the beautiful stories that have been coming through and just a testament of the kind of human being that you are but also the kind of leader that you are and 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 it can't be easy and somebody talking about letting go is easy letting go is is not a, an easy thing for all of us in so many ways but when you even eventually do it shows your character it shows your strength and it shows um that which you have built over the years because you couldn't have done it on your own you couldn't have done it um without the support but you couldn't have done it without making sure that that vision is consistently delivered and the messaging is consistent to clear so that today we're sitting where we are today so thank you to all the beautiful ladies who shared those stories um we are moving on with our beautiful program, with our celebration. And I just want to say, Ingun, you know, when they were talking about you being the mother of the nation and being a mother to all of us, I, I, I immediately thought of an analogy of a woven blanket or tapestry, a big one. And I see this tapestry, imagine it with threads of courage, of compassion, of love, of, you know, a collective vision from all corners of the globe. That's the blanket that you need to see yourself with all these amazing colors and vibrance and textures. Um, I'm using a blanket because a blanket keeps somebody warm when it's cold. A blanket can be fluffy and keeps you, you know, a bit of comfort and you feel love and you feel connected and feel like you belong when you have this blanket. So that's the, the, the analogy, the, the pain, the, the analogy that I want to leave with in terms of what you've managed to put together um, in this, you know, the testaments that we're hearing here. And all of these, you know, threads that are woven together into this beautiful blankets, it's actually a message of hope. It's a story of resilience, a message of hope, a message of courage as we're moving and we're chatting our way into the future to say, let's continue to make this blanket warmer and bigger and more comfort and rub the tears in our eyes and give us a sense of hope and purpose in life. All right, church is over. Let's move on <laughs> to the next session. We are now saying back to the future. You know, I love the twist in that in that heading. Back to the future. And we've got lined up for that. Naval, Lumka, Peter. Not Peter Kame, but Peter Paul. <laughs> And then we've got Mohit. I don't know if Mohit is still there. Um, Rob, Elsa Bay, and then you, Ospaballo. Let's roll. Hello, ladies. Hello, everybody. And I like the the uh, the Back to the Future, as you mentioned. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, you know, when I was requested to, to write something or to say something about England, I didn't know where to start. So I said, I just, I will not prepare. I just let it go as, uh, as England always say, just it will come like this. So I decided to take about the power of change our wave is all about, you know, it is the present and the future. England and female wave of change had taught us that authenticity is the key to success. And this is very important. The change is good, the change is needed, and we all need to cope up and adapt so that we can enjoy. Ingun and I became friends a few years ago. We worked together, we laughed together, we cried together, we shouted together, and we celebrated at the end together. So we learned a lot from each other and we learned a lot about each other. And I'm telling you, Ingun, we will not miss you you know, as a president, because we will always find a way to bring you back and to involve you with us. So, but we promise you that your baby female wave of change, whom you decided to let go and leave at this point is in good hands. And we will um, ensure that it will flourish. It will continue to grow. 
based on the same vision, based on the same principles that we all share. So thank you for everything. Tebello, welcome. You have all our support. With everybody, with all the ladies and gentlemen that we have with us, it is, you know, as you said, the present and the future and back to where we have started, it will continue to be hopefully the same path, growing together, flourishing together. So don't worry, enjoy the next chapter. But I'm telling you, we will always find ways to involve you back. Thank you all. Lumka, thank you, Nava. Hi, everyone. Oh, I was trying to unmute myself. Thank you, thank you, Tato. Um, firstly, I want to apologize for not showing the video. I've been in and out because of the network, and I just thought for my message to be heard, maybe it's best um, to to keep the video off. Am I audible? Very, thank you. Well, I'm shaking and I never really shake all the time. I'm still at work. I'm not sure if it's because I was busy or it's because of this moment. Um, but yes, to our dearest outgoing president, Ingun Paul, your leadership has been nothing short of exemplary. Um, under your guidance, our organization has thrived, achieving remarkable milestones and making a lasting impact globally. I mean, I'll always remember when you say that it doesn't need to be perfect before we start. We don't wait for things to reach perfection before we start. We start, you give what you have and you are enough. And I will take that with me. I will keep that with me. So your dedication, passion and vision have inspired us all. And your tireless efforts have laid a solid foundation for continued success. You know, even when we, when we when when the energy on some of us is down you always kept yours up and you are always waiting for us to come back home anytime when we gone missing and gone a wall we still find a home when we come back to female world of change so i extend my deepest gratitude for your unwavering commitment and service can you imagine so many women that you have brought together across the globe not everyone can do that as bittersweet um, moment this is, as we bid farewell to one chapter, we are eagerly anticipating the beginning of another. And I'm delighted to welcome our new president, Aus Dibello, to lead us forward to the future with a wealth of experience, fresh perspective, and genuine commitment to the mission of Female Wave of Change. I am confident that she will guide us to new heights of excellence. Um, Abstibelo really live, breathe, and, you know, um, female wave of change. So I know that female wave of change is on good hands. And we will be extending our full support, Abstibelo, and cooperation as we embark on this exciting new journey under your leadership. Um, in closing, uh, I just want to say to both our outgoing and incoming president, I offer my heartfelt Thanks and best wishes. May your leadership continue to inspire, motivate, and empower us to reach our fullest potential. We're still learning. We're, we still need um, some guidance. And with your leadership and everyone else on the call, actually, we will be reaching our full potential. So I toast both of you and saying here's to a bright and successful future ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Lumka. Um, over to you, Peter. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. My turn. Well, I know her a little bit longer than you all. And uh, the last seven years, yeah, the last seven years. The last seven years, uh, for me, are all about friendship. I have met so many people around her, uh, when we were traveling, uh, meeting a lot of you. And uh, I only want to say my trip to Kenya was, was excellent. Jane, thank you for that. Uh, but even uh, over and above that, we went together, and uh, Renee said already, 
We went together with the four of us to South Africa. What a beautiful trip. What fantastic. Me sitting there in the middle of a big room with all those beautiful ladies, with all those African dresses on. It was amazing, amazing. Uh, but we also went together to Paris or to Geneva. Uh, we re last summer we went to Geneva and met a few people there. Of course, uh, Bonnie and her whole family. Luxembourg, the Netherlands, so we went everywhere. So um, now that I am traveling also a little bit more uh, for my own purposes, I have to go to Africa a lot because uh, we're very focused on Uganda. I ju I'm just back from Zimbabwe and the continent is amazing. So uh, I will be there. Books. I will be there. Books. Books. Mm -hmm. Books. Which books? Oh, with the books we gave. Yeah, it was uh, very good. The thing I have seen in the last seven years with Ingun is that she has been relentlessly working on this global network. The dedication is enormous. If what I would have employees, I would like to have those kind of employees. And for the rest, we will do um, some more activities in the coming years. So uh, somewhere we will see each other. Thank you. Thank you so much, Peter. And uh, Muhit, you are next. Uh, T. Mohit is not here. We can't hear you. Um, Rob, you up next. Robert then is up next. Okay. Back to the future. There was a statistic last week in the Netherlands, and it kind of reaffirmed that um, that leadership consists of 85% of male leaders and just close to 15, one five percent uh, female leaders. So actually we need to make an historic change to more authentic female leadership, feminine leadership, if you like, um, and this this major change, you know, this female wave of change, which is required. Uh, and I still believe very strongly in that this female wave of change will improve our world and it will improve our lives. So it's actually not a necessity. It is almost a requirement for the future. And as some of you already stated, we don't fight the old, we don't fight the men that are currently in leadership, but we will create the new. We will create a world with, with men, not against men, but with men. And so what we need to do is to identify many more male allies around us, uh, in the various countries and uh, and make sure that they support us they support you in your uh, women leadership leading in change uh, and that is one of the things i'm currently doing as some of you know that is developing a program similar to women leading in change actually almost a mirror copy uh, of this beautiful program uh, to get many more men on board as male allies. Uh, we will work on that. Hopefully we can run a pilot in the second quarter, hopefully, uh, but at least in the, in the next global conference in Geneva in September this year, we will, uh, we will be ready to make a formal announcement. Well, that's it. Thank you so much, Ray. Powerful words. Indeed, we need so much of that change. Elsa B, you are up next. Hi, everyone. Um, okay. 
to be honest, I, I honestly didn't know what to actually say today because my words just kept on seeing, seeming so inadequate. And while I was a couple of hours ago, today still, I was furiously trying to finish my, my client work. A story popped into my head. And I quickly stopped working and I wrote down the story before I forget the story. Now, I didn't have time to memorize my story, so I'm going to read you my story. But I think things happen the way they should. There's a reason why I should be reading my story for you today. Because I think today, I'm already emotional. It's a very emotional day. I've been with Female Web of Change since 2018. And for me, Female Web of Change is Ingen, and Ingen is Female Web of Change. Um, so I'm going to read you my story now because hopefully that will get my emotions in check. <laughs> so let me just open my page and I will read you the story that popped into my head a few hours ago. This story starts with an extraordinary woman with a vision. And from that vision, Female Wave of Change was born. But more than the vision, Female Wave of Change was born from her heart. I really need to get myself under control here. Yeah. And it was the ripples created by the steady beat of that heart that started reaching other women. Women with the same yearning to make the world a better place for all. And those women's heartbeats joined the one. And the ripple became waves. Waves of heartbeats reaching across boundaries and divides and creating waves of change in women and their communities far and wide. Today, that beating heart gets handed over to the most worthy successor. A successor that will hold that precious heart in her hands. And our collective heartbeats will grow even louder. And our impact all over the world will grow even bigger. And women all over the world will grow even stronger because of it. Now, to a certain extent, we already started looking back today. But years from now, when female wave of change has truly impacted all four corners of the earth and has verily made the world a better place for all, we will look back and we will still see where it all started. One visionary woman holding out her heart to the world. Ingen. Thank you. I'm done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Elsevi. There is definitely a reason why you're reading. And I also have empathy, you know, for you the same way I do with Ingen. I understand, Shem. So the last person, let's see, wait, I might be wrong. Yes, it is. I have to leave. May I? May I? May I? Yes, may you may. may. Yes, you may. Hello, hello, everybody. I just want to say that this female wave of change come to my life as a beautiful wave and I learn how to surf and I used to be somebody who was scared of swimming so while I learned how to swim in life before I met you with you I learned to surf those waves and I'm so happy and so grateful even though you don't see me very frequently but I take your message wherever I go in the world so congratulations for everything you did in Goon and for the Ability to take the time and leave the space for somebody else. I always love you, Elsa V. And congratulations, Tebelo. We know you dearly. And count on me and the organization to Grit Academy. L love to see you all. Until next time. Thank you so much, Viola. What a beautiful message. Um, so when I was saying Sophia will be the last person, it was just the officially people who were said to speak under this. After this, I'll open the mic for like five to eight minutes for those who want to just who feel like they really want to say something quick i will open the, the the i will create that space for you so sophia come on online switch on your camera let's see you let's hear you um sophia are you here Apologies, everyone. I'm here, but uh, due to network reasons, I'm kind of requesting to keep my network, I mean, my video off, if that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Wow. Um, I can't believe we are here. 
it's yeah for me it's both joyful and emotional feelings at the same time um first of all two things that i always say is that if you want to start a company or you want to start anything you must know that it takes three things that are equally important for the success of whatever that you are studying. Number one is your passion. Number two is your skill. And number th number three is your commitment. And I always say that when it comes to running a non-profitable organization, you need 10 times more of each of that. You need to triple that. I always say living in South Africa is an extreme sport. So this is what I talk about. <laughs> it's an extreme sport. <laughs> it is sometimes full of it is sometimes full of a lot of uncertainties. And this is what Ingun got right, even before he can say, let's register female wave of change. And it is because of that, Ingun, that today we have the likes of myself. I know wherever you're sitting right now, you don't see my face. I don't see you because I'm joining from the phone. But I know you're smiling and I know deep inside you are happy because I'm a living testimony of your commitment. I'm a living testimony of your passion. I'm your living commitment of your soft skill to deal with, 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 with people. Years ago, a uh, female wave of change became a destiny helper. We always say that in our journey, we need destiny helpers. Uh, sometimes we, we think that destiny helpers are people. In my case, female wave of change, an organization became my destiny helper. Standing in the middle of powerful women, business women, listening to so many speeches. I mean, I was sitting there a little bit intimidated. I'm like, am I in the wrong place? But everything in me said, no, 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 you are in the right place. And England out of nowhere, touched by God, I believe you stand up and you present an opportunity for someone like me to stand up and share what help, what support, you know, um, they need. England, I stand up, I'm meet divorce. I'm devastated, there's miscarriages, I'm not working, my life is a mess, I'm on my fourth suicidal attempt. I don't know what A is, I don't know what B is, I don't know what Z is. But in that moment, I knew that I had to have one of those women in that room give me the opportunity to draw from them to drink from their world because if these women have been through so much as well but look at them heads held high definitely there's something i can learn from them ingun in that moment i could have asked for money i could have asked for a job i could have asked for so many things even for shelter because i was gallivanting around sleeping here sleeping there because i had no home and all I asked for was, can one of you be my mentor? I saw a room full of women, hands raised up, everyone raising their hands. And why did everyone raise their hands? Because of the values and, and, and the, the, the principle that the leader, the visionary, which is you, England, has instilled in them. That I am because we are, we are because you are. Many women lifted their hands. And I'm grateful that it is in that moment that I even met my mentor who in three months became a mother. I'm not sure sometimes if I should call her the grandmother of my children or call her my mother or call her my mentor. But all I know is that we are past <laughs> the mentoring stage. So Ingun, I'm so grateful. And what touches my heart more than anything is that, you know, a leader, a good leader, and I wish people can learn from you, a good leader never takes credit. 
a good leader is not always waiting for 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 credit irregardless of you know how much work they do they're not looking for credit they rather uplift their subordinates ingun cheers for me guys ingun cheers like for me ingun is my cheerleader and sometimes i would feel so guilty that my life is evolving so much is happening in my life and yet i'm not even telling her and sometimes she will say sophia you don't have to tell me all the time yet every post you are instagram you are what your facebook your linkedin ingun is always the first one celebrating me i was so touched when i had a conversation with a client and they told me everything that ingun said about me and it was in that moment that ingun i admired you even more may i grow up to be like you may i grow up to be a leader like you i will never stop saying thank you i'll never st- stop sending you those messages ingun saying ingun guess what i'm doing stop me if you want stop me if you can <laughs> but i won't and tivello we are with you on this journey you're not alone we are proud of you as the south african chapter and we will run the race with you congratulations ingun we love you so much mami bon thank you so much and everyone else mam baba lo love you so much thank you everyone thank you sophia i think um ingun could not contain her tears this time around you should have brought just a big box of tissues ingun <laughs> uh what a beautiful and moving tribute to Sophia. Thank you so much. Um I just want to read some messages on the chat box. Mami Bo said what an honor to celebrate our unique and gifted leaders. Thanks so much for embracing diversity. Noticing and tapped talent is my unforgettable experience. You are such a natural at home and wherever you go. Your direct and indirect mentorship made us feel valued and important. Thank you for contributing towards our growth and development. Develo, take the button and run with it. You have what it takes. And certainly you can count on me. And um Mommy Vaughn. was just send me message i don't know mommy when was it because you were struggling with your network your message perseverance trust playfulness humility forgiveness you are a faithful wife a mother an aunt a daughter sister grandmother leader friend and so much more and from dr bindu no words in gun you are indeed a heart filled inspiration to all women and a mentor for me sending you love and look forward to more love and connection you will bring women um to women all over the world and robert says thank you ingun lots of success to you develo it's just amazing um mary says i'm toasting you both ingun and develo creative female wave of change your vision resonates deeply with my heart and my personal and professional um vision so ladies this is such um you know i uh, um it's not because i'm not feeling anything that my tears are not running right through um as you can see i put some makeup on i tried i tried um but this is just such a special and beautiful and moving evening um i look at you rene i look at petty i look at mommy von boni ospabalo stevel and i'm like this is such a beautiful space and women that i've had the honor to work with i mean i remember my own blast to the past ostebelo i used ostebelo and i used to be colleagues and then i i walked to her and I said tell me about this female wave of change i want to know more and then she's like no we'll talk about it and then i think two days later i was like we still need to talk about female wave of change i read up on it and i saw the stuff and i'm resonating with authentic feminine energy because i'm all about authenticity and i love women coming together and that's how i joined you know um 
and I got involved in so many things. And I'm so grateful to be back in this space um, after almost a year of reconnection. So let's hear if if maybe we're running out of time. I always try and honor time. So maybe let's just keep getting them on messages. But for now, let's get um, the two women of the hour. Let's hear from the outgoing president, Ingun Bo. Hopefully she can hold her tear. It is, um, and you know, um, speak with courage. But Ingun, let's hear from you. Mm. Well, this will be a tough one <laughs> because Dr. Selena, if you think you're the emotional one, then there's this other one. Um, and um, yeah, what I'm, what am I going to share again after all these beautiful messages? Because already so much has been shared uh let me do one thing okay so um and you know just i'm very grateful already for those who are you know joining us here today to uh to share this uh, you know to join us on this special moment of uh you know handing over that leadership on this beautiful mo movement so uh, thank you all for joining and thank you all for these beautiful words. I think I will have to listen again and again and again to uh, to really realize what's, uh, what all has been said. So uh, from my side, who would have thought that seven years ago we would have created this amazing movement? You know, it's, it's really fantastic what we have done. Female Wave of Change has never been about me. It has always been about us. And I like that. And I love that Ubuntu way of thinking. Uh, it is an organization that we have built, that we have been carrying into the next stage and the next stage. And uh, I just loved what, uh, what has been mentioned. By the way, Robert, before they leave, um, it must be great for you to see that, uh, well, Tato's son is here. You know, he's the one who's, constantly you know also trying to be involved in uh, what she is saying and my two my both my uh, grandsons are here uh, and that is uh, what I love you know uh, Jackson is here and he hates it when you know already that he in this age that he hates it well you see he, he listens you know there's all this English already uh, but I don't know if you saw it but he also repeats what I'm doing, how I'm behaving, how I'm holding my hands and, you know, the things that I'm doing. So it's so fantastic to see that, you know, being for them to be here, it is really, really great to uh, to experience that. So uh, uh, thank you, Katinka, for, uh, for involving them today here also in this session. Yeah. Who would have thought that, that we, that we are here after seven years and uh, build this beautiful movement? All these people that I've met, well, you can, you know, the, the people we've already shared, but, um, you know, it's, it is about that meeting, you know, in 2010, when I met Bonnie and Jane uh, in, uh, in Los Angeles, and that we have been building on that, that Saskia, also one of our global uh, ambassadors, and I haven't seen her here, but, uh, you know, she's one of my high school friends, and it's so fantastic to see People join again and again and 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 really uh, connect with with the things that we're doing. But also, yes, uh, of course, Renee, who have been part of this journey for such a long time, really fantastic. But also my family, I'm really, really very grateful for uh, everything that uh, that the way that they have supported me to do this, and especially Peter, you know, because in the beginning he didn't understand and at all what I was doing. But by the time that he uh, he could join more and more trips and especially meeting more and more people, he came to understand. And I remember that there was this question about South Africa and uh, he was asked, so what are you going to do during the conference? And he said, are you kidding? These women, they have such wisdom. There is so much uh, that inspires me. I am going to sit in, you know, in the back of the room for two all day so uh and that is what he, said, but he has been doing actually for the last seven and a half years places yes we have been you know it is about uh 
It started here in the Netherlands, in Leusden, the trip to Kenya, and what has not been mentioned by, uh, by Jane, but uh, you know, the trips, the visits we have made to the slums in Nairobi, and the women we have met there, you know, that has been so inspiring and really has been feeding me on how to take this forward. So that has really been fantastic. And of course, you know, we saw the countries, but those things, those I, I have, you know, we met so many women's organizations there in the slums. And, and that was also very, well, still rem reminds me a lot of my visit there. There has a baby been born on one of the days that I met these women in the slums, and she was named after me, Ingun. So every year I still have that connection with this little child now. Well, little child, she's growing up as well. But of course, Sevilla, we have been to Spain, we've been to South Africa, Luxembourg, Geneva, and of course, back in Nordwijk. Uh, there's there's so many great moments, and I think that if we didn't have uh, Corona for so many, you know, quite some years, um, we would have visited all of you. That would have really been fantastic because we always say we're high tech, but I'm even more high touch, and that is the thing that you know is difficult if you are always sitting behind a computer. So uh, of course we have faced some challenges and. COVID-19, again, I am going to, you know, it's, we were in such a high, it was, we were growing so fast and there was so much happening. And then COVID hits. And then you see so many women worldwide struggling and you see that there's so much happening. It was, you know, losing their loved ones, losing their businesses, trying to figure out how to make this work. And um, I have been really, really amazed how, this group of women leading and change came together and that we have been, you know, figuring out how to support everyone online. And we did, that was really fantastic. But another challenge was also, you know, the fact that, oh, and I shouldn't have put that on my list. You know, the last conference uh, here in Nordwijk, and it was fantastic, but you know, at that moment, my mother was dying. And there was only constantly that, that moment of, of course, I'm here in Nordwijk, but what is happening with her? Uh, and I'm really, really grateful that she <laughs> she made it. And uh, four or five days later, you know, we still had uh, moments to talk about what had happened. And uh, uh, she passed a couple of days after the conference. That had really been a very tough time at that moment. But, you know, it is... You get through it. That is um, lessons learned. You know, <laughs> you have no idea how many lessons I've learned. And you know, that is always the the also the way that I build businesses. It is let's just do it. You know, I will fall, I will get up, I will learn, and we're moving on to the next. And that is also what happened with female way of change. A lot of lessons, and I'm not going to. I, I think I can write a book about it, and maybe I will do that one day. So, um, the programs that we have designed, yes, uh, Re uh, Renee, that has been a fantastic moment. You know, that we just, you know, outside on the terrace, that we just said developing the women leading and, and change program, and what has happened since then. You know, the amazing teachers, of course, but all these, these participants. Uh, and, um, you know, I really wanted Sophia also to share her story because, you know, after the conference, she did the Women Leading and Change program. And, um, you know, if you see women develop, you know, outgrow themselves in any way, you know, that is so fantastic. The impact Sophia has made on, you know, so many people in South Africa and beyond. That is really fantastic. And, uh, you know, looking that from the sideline, that is, it's so wonderful to see uh, that happen because we know that we can uh, guide more women to step into their authentic feminine leadership and, and really lead that change. The stories, and Mami Von, oh gosh, that your connection was not good enough for today. I really want you to send us the the you know recordings you know um, yes the first time that i heard mommy von speak 
it was such an amazing speaker, such an amazing storyteller. And, you know, it, it touched me in every, you know, uh, you know, wherever <laughs> in my body. It was so amazing. And since then, she has brought so many stories to the table. Uh, that is fantastic. So, Mom Yvonne, I really believe that your speech today, your part today would have been fantastic. But really, please share it, record it so that we can share it with others as well. Um, the books that have been written, you know, the podcasting that have been done. Uh, the workbook, you know, I cannot even stop. And, and the workbook I've shared already with so many people. And that is the way that we should be doing it. And I was a little bit sharing with Peter when he was talking. I said, talk about the books. Mm -hmm. He has shared already so many books with women, uh, you know, and, and also on his trips to uh, to Uganda and to, uh, to Zimbabwe, and just giving a pile of books. And I said, OK, just share it. You know, we want women to read it and to experience it and let it be that first step towards authentic feminine leadership. The conferences amazing and now we're talking again, uh, again about a, a, a conference you know in a certain location you know many of the conferences ha we had to do online because you know there was COVID and it was we didn't have the finances to to go to all these places but uh, I was watching for instance the recordings of a conference that we did in well I think it was 2018 it was a trip around the world and it started in the morning, very early in the morning for us in New Zealand. And we went to Australia, we went to Pakistan, we went to the Middle East, we went to South Africa. And that was the first time. Yes, I saw Mommy Von speak. That was really fantastic. But we, we took everyone from one place to another. And, you know, in each location, there was a group of women and there were amazing speakers from there. Uh, community or from their country and that is as well you know a, a fantastic way I can still look back at that conference that was really 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 amazing <laughs> oh gosh and still so many things that have to be shared and have to be launched female wave of change you know it was never me and I shared that already in the beginning it was it was never my organization, my name on it. It was ours. So also now together, we can expand, we can build on it. We can celebrate it together, we can, but we can also protect it. We can really join. And this is something that, you know, I take that moment that everyone is here, handing over leadership to Tabello is not enough. Tabello cannot do this alone. And I also celebrate the women in the inner circle, you know, uh, Elsa B and her team. That is really, you know, those ladies, ladies need to be um, cherished by everyone and treated with so much respect because they do a lot of work. Um, but um, there's a lot of work in all the things that we can do and should do, especially if you look at a situation in the world. I call upon all of you to contribute and to support Tabello and the board, those ladies, really fantastic as well. Uh, we really um, call upon you to really mm -hmm. play your role, to take, to play your part in building and expanding this organization. And it's not so much about female wave of change, but it is about those authentic feminine leaders that we really, really need right now in this time and space. So, ladies, men, gentlemen, grandsons, <laughs> this is uh, the moment that I'm officially stepping down and um, as president of Female Way of Change, I will always... I will always so be uh, available to whatever you're doing and any questions and any projects. You will see me there, but I'm not going to lead this organization anymore. So, and I'm going to do this. Um, I'm first going to change my background. 
I am from now on not anymore the, the president and the founder, but also, but only the founder of Female Wave of Change. And uh, I hand over the leadership to Tabella Mohema from South Africa. And yes, you're all right. I couldn't have found a better successor. So Tabello, the floor is yours. And I really want you to welcome her with a big applause. And uh, she will be the one who will be leading Female Wave of Change into the future. Wow, 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 wow. Powerful words of reflection, Ingun. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you um, for your leadership, for your commitment, for trusting the universe and trusting God to use you in such a remarkable way. Um, like Sophia said, an NPO, you know, it's not easy. I know some of the projects we worked on, we were struggling because there were no funds. Um, and like I like I predicted that Peter probably didn't understand, <laughs> and you did, you did attest that he didn't understand. When the vision is yours, is yours alone. Um, when it's planted in your heart, in your spirit, it will haunt you. But we celebrate you tonight and, you know, this afternoon or evening, wherever you are, because you have persevered, because you have seen it through, because you have, you know, you've allowed yourself to be used in the way that God wanted to use you and will continue to use you because you're such a visionary. So thank you for imparting all that is in your heart, all that is in your mind, all that is in your brain with all of us and across the world. And like we said, it's a wave of change because it comes to us and then we impart it to others and then and then and then, and hopefully for generations and many generations to come. This is what leadership is. This is what this thing about is about. It's about spreading those ripple effects of change. Um, and so many things that you are, you know, you know. I and I and and Ingun, please pen down that book. Let it be one of your projects, the lessons learned from this, because I think those are incredible, incredible lessons um that you can't share in, in a space of 15 minutes. But thank you so, so, so much, Ingun, for your words and for your leadership and for your warm, warm heart. Um, by the way, Ingun and I share a birthday, in case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. And to the incoming president of Female Wave of Change. Drum roll. <laughs> oh, I hope you can all hear me talk about running into this because I am noting that we are out of time actually for this session. Um, however, just allow me to share. Um, a few words that I that I penned down. Um, Ingun, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. You know, we all would not be here if it were and not for your previous amazing. attempts, I guess. So <laughs> we wouldn't be here if it were not for your vision to connect women from across the world so they can effect and affect change in the world. What has kept me volunteering? And I want to remind everybody that we are here doing this on a volunteering basis. What has kept me volunteering to this organization all these years? For me, it's really been the objective of the organization whereby we offer women from all walks of life, you know, a safe space where they can grow into their authentic feminine leadership and change makers who can take responsibility for their future and the future of the community and of the world. And to tell you the truth, I have truly met so many women that have volunteered and, and have volunteered with so many women from all walks of life. I think if there's one thing that has kept me amazed about this organization is that you know, it doesn't matter where you come from. For as long as you have the vision and the passion to change the world, this is, you know, the place to be. As I step into the role of president, I invite you to reach out to all of us as the board, Charlie, Lumka, Nawal, and myself, with your brilliant ideas and networks. Come together. We need to come together so we can continue to act actively 
create a more sustainable world based on human values on commission, collaboration and abundance. We've heard all the highlights, you know, from everyone and the outgoing president as we are truly humbled to have experienced her leadership thus far. Together with the Board of Female Wave of Change, we will continue to engage as a team so we can continue to deliver on the vision, mission, and values of the organization. However, we cannot do this alone, ladies and gentlemen. We need you and your wisdom to partner with us and to volunteer to the organization. Much of what has been achieved was done through the global community of female wave of change. We need to revive that community. We need to revive all the contexts in the over 45 countries where we know female wave of change is represented and also reach out to many more communities. We hope to achieve this revival as we begin to implement a refresher and dynamic circle of change process. So you will hear more about it you know, in the uh, coming days. We also intend to establish ways to get closer and become more aligned with our circle of wisdom. In my conversations with some of the members of the circle, there is definitely a need for a closer connection between the circle of wisdom members and the board of female wave of change. I don't know about you, but I've been grateful to witness the impact and difference that our excellent program, Women Leading in Change, has had in the lives of those who have participated and completed it. We need to do the same for many, many more women across the world. So I'm asking you and I'm pleading to you that we need you to help us spread the word about Women Leading in Change across the world. And because of its success, we are now in the early stages of developing a similar program for our male allies who have indicated that they are willing and ready to be part of making a change in the world, a world which will embrace our humanness, you know, where we treat each other with dignity, respect, compassion, and more. So again, look out for more information on how female wave of change, we want to increase partnership with our our male allies. Finally, I invite you to visit our website, www.femalewaveofchange.com to learn more about the organization. More importantly, please donate to our organization so we can achieve our plans and also volunteer to be uh, a change maker in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, may we all raise our glasses, our cups of tea, whatever we have, wherever we are, and say salute to Ingun, to the leadership, to the board of this organization, and all the best to everyone. And may the blessings that we have achieved so far continue to be with us so we can be blessings to more people in the future. Salute. Salud. Cheers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. And I know that we are seven minutes out of time. Thank you for making the time. Thank you for celebrating. And Ostebello, all the very, very, very best. Um, you are the right person for this role. And everybody here has committed to their support. So, yeah, thank you for having me once again. And all the best with everything. All the best. Much love to all of you here. Thank you so much, Tato. And thank you to everybody that has stayed with us until the end. And let's continue to chat for our members in the WhatsApp groups. For those of you who want to connect with us, just send an email to info at female wave of change and we will come back to you. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good evening. Have a good day. Have a good morning. Same to you. Same to you. It is complete. <laughs> <laughs> New beginnings. <laughs> Thank you. Asabi, I hope you captured our salute. Where is she? <laughs> you know, 